Well, between masking fees, flight delays and cancellations, air travel can be really stressful. And in Tolbert's traffic today, we learned Sacramento International Airport's possible solution for some of that stress. So let's get to Jordan right now. Jordan, it's not necessarily a solution for the problem, right? It's the stress. Right, so they're called the Boarding Area Relaxation Corps, or BARC, and it's a team of certified therapy dogs and their owners who come to Sacramento International Airport to help ease travelers' worries. <laughs> These specially trained dogs are ready to greet you with wagging tails. The BARC team started at the Sacramento Airport in 2017. I got to know Sheila and Nanami, in between pets, of course. I raised puppies for guide dogs for the blind, and she came back to me because she wasn't going to work for that program. And so we enrolled her in this one five years ago, and she's now five years into this. They come throughout the week, meeting people in different seasons and situations in both terminals. Sheila tells me one day a woman was petting the dogs and tearing up. Turns out she was on her way to her dad's funeral. And she just came over and she said, I just really need this. And she hugged the dogs so hard, but they loved it too. They gave her every bit of love back. The dogs get extra training and are even certified to work at the airport. A few other airports around the nation have similar programs, but SMF was one of the first. They're so cute and fluffy. And it's just nice to be able to pet them and kind of get a little bit of stress relief before you sit on a flight for a few hours. Now, Nanami can't talk, but you can just tell she loves her job. She loves it. They look forward to coming here. They look forward to being here. And when they get to leave here at the end of their shift, they get treats on the train on the way back. So they look forward to leaving as well. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So <laughs> Gabby, Nanami, it was like dog overload yeah, yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I, bought, I brought some training cards that they gave me. Oh. Uh, basically, they have all of the dog's <laughs> pictures on them with some stats on the back as well, so I'll Aww. leave. I'll leave these here. Wait, oh, this I, is sweet. I need. I need one. Can, will this help me train Titus, my German Shepherd? Do they have some <laughs> tips on that. here for me? <laughs> I heard you saw the funny. Bark team in action yeah, while you were out there. There was actually a really cool story. You might not even believe me if I tell you this. It was pretty incredible. But basically, this mom was trying to get her daughter. It was her first time flying mm -hmm. onto the plane, and her daughter wouldn't go. But after a few minutes with those dogs, she actually boarded the plane, oh. and the mom came over to us, and she said. This was so incredible, and I'm so glad that they were there because oh. my daughter, you know, she's never flown before. It can be really nerve-wracking. Absolutely. So. Yeah, it's funny that you handed me Gabby's card because I have a picture of me hugging Gabby around the neck <laughs> like this at the airport. So, so it was you've meant to be. Gabby I the have. They're very sweet dogs, and they're just right there when you get out of TSA. You can just mm -hmm. pet them and have a good flight. You know what? I'm going to book a flight out of Sacramento <laughs> International Airport just so I can meet the Bark team. Exactly. <laughs> and, you know, to find out more about that program that makes the Bark team possible, they're called Lend a Heart. You can go to our links page and even see information on how to get your dog involved in that awesome uh, organization. Just so great. Jordan, thank you so much. <laughs>